Um, some people asking about they have, you know, the chronic illness disease for quite a few years. So they've, they've experienced the chronic pain and also they've encountered the stress all the time. I think it's not only because of the chronic diseases, but also, you know, lots of maybe the stress from work, from life. So the question is, uh, how, how does Qigong help them with their chronic pain and chronic illnesses? Yeah, uh, for chronic illness and pain, uh, Qigong is a very good uh, practice to deal with that. In modern Western medical system, it provides some treatments like a painkiller or some med medication to soothe your feeling, especially when you feel chronic pain and uh, un uncomfortable. You use that drug to you feel feel released right away. But it's not solve the problem. It's not dig deep into the core to solve it. It's just like a mask up on the on the surface. So you won't feel this uncomfortable for a while. So you in your feeling, it feels oh, it's 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 getting normal. It's getting healed, and. This give you actually an example, like sometimes you just ignore it because the chronic pain, it's there, but you know, and once you take the drug, you, you don't feel it and you ignore it and you're doing your daily stuff. And this, this is not address these issues in Qigong practice. We're not like covering up, just soothe your feeling, make you comfortable. No, we're not doing that. We dig deep into the core. Sometimes we're not avoid pain. Sometimes I want you to feel that, feel that even, even clear about where is the pain. Because pain is our friend, actually. Pain is alarm system. When you're in a house, there is some smoke coming up. Then your alarm sound, it's loud, it's loud. Yeah. And you feel, oh, it's annoying. The, the alarm is annoying. You want to shut it down, <laughs> turn it off, or just <laughs> use a hammer to knock it out. Oh, everything quiet until you knock it up. Everything quiet, but the smoke is still there. Something bad happening, a Sorry. fire is still, right? You just shut off the alarm system. Uh -huh. So all the uh, medical uh, painkiller, they, they're shutting off the alarm system. And the alarm system telling you something's wrong in your body, something you need your attention, need your care for it. You turn the alarm system off, did nothing actually for the system. And mm -hmm. then long enough, the small problem become bigger. Then when you see it, nothing you can turn it off again, then it's become a big issue, Yeah. right? Mm -hmm. So before it become a big issue, let's deal with it. This alarm system is our friend, but sometimes it's, it will get annoying because the, this is your like immune system actually. It's, a, uh, it's to help you, but you, uh, Maybe it's getting sometimes you're too sensitive to this alarm, to this signal. So you feel, I cannot take it, I cannot take it. But once if you get, get calm and see how it happened, why it happened, this is your friend. And take it like, okay, I know you, you want to alarm me. Let me know there is a problem. I'm your friend. I st thank you. And I want to take a look at it. When you take a look at it, when you see the pain in the face, actually you feel less pain when you start to look at it, when you're trying to avoid it, the harder you push it away, the harder you will push it back because this is a, a universal rule. The harder you push, the harder you push yeah, it back. Yeah, action so and reaction. Face yeah, once you face it, you start to look at it. It become weaker, actually. This alarm system start to turn it off because the purpose of the alarm system is get your attention and you start to attend to it. You start to notice it. Then the alarm system will start to shutting down and you will see what where is the problem you start to taking care of it then the alarm system has no use anymore so this is how we deal with the pain in practice not only the chronic pain on the other issues you feel that sometimes when you practice you stand there like a mm, sitting meditation or sometimes we do a, a push mountains you know practice your push mountains when we practice this thing back in the 90s, we would practice not just for a 5, 10, 15 minutes. We do it in like one hour, two hours. One hour? hour? Wow. <laughs> yeah, so one hour, two hours. You will feel pain. The pain is there. Like everywhere, sometimes it's starting from here and start to move, move, move to 
uh, forearm and move to every muscle will feel this pain. But when you go through this pain, the pain is just like your mentor, like your friend, your coach. You, you hold your hand, move along the way. So don't be afraid to feel this, I mean, like a chronic illness, the, the pain lasts a very long time in your life. Don't, don't be afraid with that. Be friend with me. Be a long time friend with me, right? So this time you really look at it into them, see where it came from, what's the shape, what's the color of it. Even you can think about when you feel pain, feel discomfort, you see, what is the color? What is the shape of this pain? Where it came from? Then you will see it start to turn, start to transform and your situation will become better and better. This is very interesting when you talk about, you can imagine the shape of the pain, the color of the pain. So you're, you're actually, instead of avoiding the pain and then trying to escape from it, you just face it. And even like you wanted to look into the pain and so in detail to see what's going on, right? This is the totally opposite approach. So, and, and that also makes me think of your experience when you had you know, the severe pain, you had the kidney stone, right? And then you describe that it's such a pain that it's like a woman giving birth to babies. And so how did you overcome the pain at that time? Oh, that was a retreat in China. At that time, we first practiced for a while and suddenly I feel extreme pain down my tummy. Uh, so it's a it's pain like twisted pain in the back. So... I cannot stand it. It's like everlasting pain. You can know, sometimes you, if you feel pain in your tummy, you just move around and change your pos posture, then the pain will reduce. But this pain is stay there all the time. Mm -hmm. I never feel that. That's why I went to the hospital to check up and they found one 1.2 centimeter kidney stone wow. uh, dropping to my uterus. Mm -hmm. No. Okay. What do you call it? The, the tube, the little the tube. tube. Yeah. Uh -huh. Uh, the, the kidney, okay, mm -hmm. it drop into that because that tube is just a point zero point three millimeter. Okay, zero point three centimeter. centimeter. Okay. Yeah, so, mm -hmm. and the one point two is quite large for that tube. Yeah. So it's stuck there. That's why I, I feel pain. And the doctor suggested I do a get, do some surgery to like open my back and uh, and break the stone. But I don't want to do that because I I'm. I practice Qigong and I want to use the natural way to do that because I saw a lot of example happened when we practice Qigong, a lot of like kidney stone and other stones, they can dissolve and disappear. So mm -hmm. I just mm -hmm. uh, focus on how to make it disappear, to dissolve this stone. So, but in the night, it was massive pain in the back. I was for a few nights, I cannot sleep. But suddenly one day, after a few days of struggling, so I lie down there and I, I, I feel this thing. I cannot avoid it. it exactly. I cannot, whatever I do, I did, I turn around or something. I cannot avoid it. So then I start to look at it. I thought, I cannot avoid it. Then I welcome you. Just welcome the pain to see how will pain. Now I know how, how pain is it. Can you do more? Can you be more painful? Right? So you I talk understand. to so you talk to the pain. It's I like pain. you talk yeah, to I the talk pain. To oh, okay. Uh -huh. yeah, I talk to it. So I say, okay, let me see. So painful. I won't die. I know I won't die because of pain. Right? Actually, painful make me more alert, make me more be present. So if you want to avoid it, you just drag yourself to lose conscious, lose conscious. But pain make you be more alert, more be present. If you not feel anything, you not feel pain, you're gonna watch uh, on your phone, play around with it, and then when you realize it, oh, several hours passed. <laughs> but then when you're in the pain, every minute, it's like a whole day. <laughs> so I think oh, it's a good time. If I want to live longer, I should feel pain. Because <laughs> maybe I live longer, isn't it? Mm. So I just enjoy that moment. And I just look at this pain and just talk to it. And I, I, I even work on it. Can you do more? I don't believe you just, this is, you can do. <laughs> I talk to it. 
<laughs> and I totally believe if I open up, if I open to the chi and the universe, and also so many qigong masters or, uh, around there, and they say, that's I don't, I'll be taking care of that. Ah, my body will work it out. And no, just the stone is also created inside my body. It's not taken from outside. My body know how to express it, how to how to dissolve it. And I just give good intention and I just keep la chi, la chi and fa chi. Okay, send good intention to it. And uh, for several days, it's interesting. And I start to feel less pain. And I. Finally, I can get up and I went back to Canada after a few days. On the plane, I cannot feel and I didn't feel any pain. Didn't feel any pain. Also, on the plane, there was a very interesting experience that I experienced. It's like a life awakening experience. I left that maybe later. For uh, later. In the future. For future. Yeah. yeah. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. uh, this interesting part is when I, after I can come to Canada, I went to a family doctor. So. The family doctor sent me to do an ultrasound. After the ultrasound, and they tell me they cannot find the stone. It just <laughs> disappeared. Oh. That was amazing as well. So yeah. because yeah. in in the bottom of my heart, I know it will happen. Mm -hmm. I believe it will happen. And that it exactly happened as I imagined. Yes. This is yes. How you but this is how I the, the pain, how you deal with it, you make a difference. But yes. it will be a different story if you're so afraid of that and take all the pill you have, try to avoid it. It's a totally different story. Yes, yes. I believe that your story is very inspiring, especially when you describe it, how you deal with the pain. It's totally from wherever else like people talk about, right? So despite taking the drug, and then most people, they can't, they may be, they can maybe find something to distract from the pain, but never ever they talk to pain and then to see, hey, and can you be stronger? <laughs> well, how strong you can be? You know, this is quite interesting. But this is show also how brave, how special you are in treating your problem. I think that's also lead to your life awakening moments, not just once. And so we will have you again and then talk about your personal awakening experience in the future.